to Korean in 5, where we take 5 minutes out of your busy day and we teach you some Korean. Today we're going to talk about a very important subject, Korean particles. Particles. How do you say particle in Korean? 조사. 조사? Mm. I did not know that word. Nice mm -hmm. to know. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a basic sentence and then we're going to throw some particles in there and see what it does. This is a two-part one. So let me have Sonhee, mm -hmm. my co-author here, let her have read this sentence. 조지입니다. 조지입니다. Mm -hmm. I am George. George. 조지입니다. And of course, 입니다, because it is neutral, which means mm -hmm. it doesn't mean I am. Mm -hmm. It can mean he is, it can mean she is, it can mean they are, mm -hmm. right? If I'm pointing to a gentleman over there and I say, mm -hmm. 조지입니다, it means he is George. Mm -hmm. right. That's how Korean mm -hmm. verbs work. All right, so here's a little simpler version we're going to work with right here. 조지예요. This is just a little bit less formal. Now, you'll notice up here that we have a little smiley face. That means this sentence is okay. It doesn't, there's no problem with this sentence. All right. So read that one more time. 조지예요. Right. means I am George. 조지예요. Right. I am George. But what if they said this? 돼지예요. 돼지예요. Now that doesn't mean I am a pig. <laughs> it means it's a pig, yeah. right? But I could say I'm a pig and I would still say the same thing. 돼지예요. Right? Now let's look at how particles work to make this obvious. All right? First we have a bad sentence. There's no particle in here. Just read what it says. 조지 돼지예요. Now we don't know what that means because there's no particle. What does a particle do or what we also like to call a marker? It says this word does this in a sentence. It comes after a word to say the word right before me, for example, was a topic or the word right before me uh, is also going to be there, for example. We'll, we'll see that in a second. So, this sentence by itself doesn't really make sense, but what if we put a little bit of a pause there? 조지 돼지예요. That could mean George is a pig. <laughs> we don't want that. I'm not very happy with that. But if I use a particle like this, I can now really specify what I mean. Now read that. 조지의 돼지예요. Right. So, this red one is 의. But when it's read as a particle like this in a sentence, the sound changes to 조지의. No, say it the right way. 조지의. Right. They don't normally say 의. Now, if they're reading it slow, they will. But in actual speaking Koreans, will always make, make it sound like a e eh almost. Mm -hmm. So it's 조지의 돼지예요. Mm -hmm. And that means it's George's pig. Because 의 is the possession marker. Mm -hmm. It marks possession. And in a lot of written Korean, it's also used to connect two nouns together so that the first noun modifies the second noun. But in spoken Korean, a lot of times it's dropped. So if you said just 조지 돼지예요, you would just assume they mean mm, yeah. it's, it's George's, George's pig, pig, right? It's a lot of times context. But what if I just change the 의 marker to a topic marker, mm. 는, mm. 는. 조지는 돼지예요. Now, this is not actually a bad sentence. This is a good <laughs> sentence, but it's bad because I'm not a pig. Mm -hmm. But what this does is it says, the nun says, George is what we're talking about. It's the topic. George is the topic. Mm -hmm. And what are we saying about him? We're saying pig. He's a pig. Mm -hmm. So, if this is a little bit of a cool thing. We might go a little bit late today because this is an important topic. So, you might have to take a few extra minutes. But I want you to remember this key thing. Everything before the nun or the un which, because remember that the topic marker can be both, is the topic or part of the topic. Everything after the topic marker is a question or a statement about the topic, right? So if you say A, nun, B, it means I'm going to talk about A, and what about it? It's B. Mm -hmm. Or is it B? It comes after the noon. So let's, for example, let's think, let me just think of another sentence. How would you say this is... Uh, let's see, this is expensive. 이것은 비싸요. 이것은 비싸요, right? 이것은, this is what we're talking about, and what about it? It's expensive. Everything before the topic marker is the topic. Everything after the topic marker is about it or a question about it. All right, now let's just change the noon. So if we had a 의, then we change to a 는. Now we're going to just change the marker. Everything else stays the same. 조지도 돼지예요. What does that mean? George is also a pig because do is like saying to or also it's the inclusion marker right one more time all right now we'll do one more sentence where this time 
it's a bad sentence because we're missing a particle and it doesn't really help us. So read this. 조지는 돼지 먹다. Now that would make sense. Yeah. That would make sense. <laughs> you don't actually need to have anything there, but it's better if you have this. 조지는 돼지를 먹다. Now, 를 is the object marker. It marks the thing that an action verb happens to. Okay? 먹다 is an action verb to eat. And you're eating the pig. It's the object of the verb. So one more time. 조지는 돼지를 먹다. Now here's the thing. Koreans don't talk like this normally. They don't just say 먹다. Mm -hmm. Because 먹다 is the dictionary form. Mm -hmm. But a lot of books use this form to teach. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit confusing. Yeah. Normal, normal times, uh, 먹다 is normally, a lot of times what? Uh, it's like a, a thought. Mm -hmm. Like 먹다, I ate. Mm -hmm. Or you know. But let's look at what you would normally do in the sentence. You would conjugate it into the past tense. 조지는 돼지를 먹었어요. 먹었어요. Ate a pig, right? So that's the same sentence. Now what if I just change the rule? You'll notice that I'm going to change just the rule. Only the rule. What is it now? 조지는 돼지도 먹었어요. Alright. This is George also ate, not George also, George ate a pig also. Right? I ate other things. Right? And the do is taken the place of the rul. It also now is sort of like a, it's, it's in the place of the object marker, but you don't need the object marker. Just like when do was used in place of the topic marker, you didn't need the topic marker anymore because do took its place. All right? All right, here we go. We're going to add just a new particle. I'm sorry, what? It's going to die. Oh, it's going to die. That's, That's what you meant. Saying. All right. <laughs> We're running out of camera. Okay, so we'll just go as far as we can. We only got two more slides. 조지는 돼지하고 먹었어요. 조지는 돼지하고 먹었어요. This means George ate with the pig. Mm -hmm. The hago means with. All right. If we switch the hago to come first and put the pig there, go ahead. 돼지하고 조지는 먹었어요. Now it means George and mm -hmm. the pig. The pig and George ate. And the final sentence. 돼지는 조지를 먹었어요. George was eaten by the pig. So mm -hmm. the pig. Okay. Ate, ate George. Notice that the rule now marks me. I am the object that got eaten. And that is how the particles work to say this word does this in the sentence. Thank you for learning about Korean particles. We'll see you on part two. Bye-bye.